Alright, so I'm um, now today shipping out a whole bunch of orders. I figured I'd make a video on how I do that. Um, first of all, I start out with the shipping labels here. And whenever I write it, I always write on the shipping label what I'm getting. So here, I know I'm getting two brooches. Because I have mixed it up before where I sent someone to order an iPod and I sent them roaches. It wasn't good. So, and I take one of these and connect the box. Actually, I'm going to change this on my website because the buyer brought it up. Um, <clears throat> it's ambiguous when I say two roaches, it doesn't say male or female. So uh, he doesn't want them breeding, so I'm going to try and find him two ma uh, females that look like they're not pregnant. Um, that would be one that I would not give him because clearly it is pregnant. This one looks pretty thick too. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm looking for a skinny one. And wow, look at that. There's a huge male. That's massive. Uh, that's a big one. There's another one that looks pretty thick. So I don't think I should give him that one either. like this. If you can see that, she's kind of stuck in there. I'm just going to rip that off and put the whole thing in. Um, now, I don't know how close you can see there, but you can see in the head there, there's no horns. That's how you can tell it's a female. And the males, it's this big one here. They have much longer antennae, and they have these two little horns right there on their uh, mantle on the back of their head. And they also have a, a, a fur, uh, little hairs on their antennae. So I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but um, that's a good example. This guy's got all his antennae too. They're not, they're not broken. A lot of them break. So females have short little antennae and they don't have hair on it, or as much. So, another skinny female. She's fast. That's close. You can see that one's kind of fat too, that's probably pregnant. Oops. There you go. There we go. On the coconut. Alright, so that's a real small one. She probably just gave birth. Either that or she's just in her seventh instar. So, instar rather. So she's probably not uh, pregnant because she's very thin. So that's how I determine whether they're pregnant or not. It's not 100%. Um, but most of them in here are, are probably pregnant. So sometimes I'll put water in there and put a little food, but you don't really have to because um, they're cockroaches and they survive. So, especially it's May, so it's not really that imperative that they have proper, the, uh, you know, proper conditions. It'll be fine. So then I take this. Oh, so I take this. Here's the box with the tube. Females, and I put that on there, and I keep it together. And if you can pan over here, I put it over there, and I have it stacked up over there. So hopefully that still lines up. All right, next one. 
pregnant female. So that's easy. Let's find one of the big ones. So get the box. Pull it up. There you go. Let's get it fast. Alright, big female. Where are the big females? Find a whole bunch of them. size you can tell that she's definitely recently she hasn't given birth because of her size if she had it, she would be much smaller than that um, and then again you, I can show you the difference to the <coughs> sorry the antenna have no hair on it really and they're a lot shorter all of this one is broken here. But uh, that's pretty much all they'd be. This this left one is uh, is about the size that that would be. So, but you can see that thickness she's got to her, meaning she's either had a good meal or she's pregnant. But I would say because of her size, she's pregnant. And if I have a guarantee on there that if in a few months there's no babies, well, you know, then you're not one. So at least I think I do. If I don't, I'll put it up. Next one, five adult star kit. So, star colony. And this box is on there. So, for the five adults, I normally do one or two males and three females, or four. Depending on what my colony is saying. This is right now, a lot of males, so I'm probably going to give two males. Here's a nice male. This is a really nice looking male here. He's got a full antennae. This might even be the same one I picked up before. I don't know. Uh, he's pretty big, good size. Uh, not too old. So I'm going to go ahead and put him in. Here's a nice female. This one's definitely pregnant to the size of that. To the abdomen, how thick it is. She's definitely pregnant. So he's getting a little extra. kind of sickly. She's lost all her antennae there. She's not moving too much. Normally I would feed these to my bearded dragon, but I'm actually getting rid of the bearded dragon today. I'm sending them off to uh, away for the summer. They're going to go uh, be at one of the insectariums in, in uh, the warm wildwood actually. I think. I think that's where they go. So, that be cool. Here's another one definitely pregnant. Look at that. Huge, huge female. She's she's gonna give birth any day now. And another enormous pregnant female. You know, I might actually open up that other box and put one of these in there because there's that one was much thinner compared to these. So I didn't want to do that, but I think you get the idea. So this is how I do it. And then, once I've done that, uh, hold on a second.
was the first one I did before I had the camera on. Or maybe I did have the camera on, I don't remember. Um, so this is the three nymphs. And what I do is I take one of these and put it in here. And the reason I do that, not only is it double protection for the the uh, roaches in case they did that, because I actually did get one email from uh, an upset customer that said they opened up the box and there was nothing in it. And I said, that's really strange. Can you can you send me some pictures of the box so I could see, you know, what happened? Maybe there was something wrong with it. Well, they went in there the next morning and they found the roach inside here. So I don't know how that happened, but good thing I had double box. The other reason I do it is because one of these costs five twenty, five dollars and twenty cents to ship flat rate, and this costs four ninety five. So I get the protection of the box, but I still get the cheap price of this. So what was my idea? Uh, Peter Clausen was the first one that I knew that I saw doing it, and I think uh, you know they charge enough. So. So then what I would do is I would put the business cards in there and close up so I don't have to go get the business cards where they are. And um, put a put the packing slip in there and that's it. And it's shipped off, ready to go. I cut off the excess stuff here, glue that or tape that on right there, and it's ready to go. So that's it.